Hello and welcome to How Do I Use the UMG Uniform Grid. I've gone ahead and created a simple example here and added the Uniform Grid panel as a child of a canvas panel for easy positioning. I've sized up the panel, let's go with 900 by 900 to make it easy and centered it to the center. The Uniform Grid panel itself has the slot padding, minimum desired slot width, and minimum desired slot heights but we'll go over these next. Each child contains the alignment options, which row it's in, which column it's in. Right now, we can have a three by two grid. Any item may be moved by simply clicking on the item and then using the arrow to move it left or right. For example, when I take this item, which is the only item in the third column, and I move it left one, we now have a two by two grid. If I want to move this item over to the right one, You'll notice we still have a 3x3 three three grid because this item was in the bottom right. And it contains row 1, column 2. Grids are zero based with 0 in the top left going over 1 and 2 and down 0 and 1. If I wanted to have a third row, I could add a 3 third row, which would then become index 2. So I'd have 0, 1, and 2. Now as for our options, let's go ahead and check those out on the grid panel. Let's say for example, right now I have a 900 by 900 grid, but it is not set to size to content. I can resize it and my content will resize itself based on any of the padding parameters inside of it. If I wanted a 900 by 900 grid, which with each cell being 300 by 300, I can go ahead and set size to content and set my minimum desired width to 300, my minimum desired height to 300. That means each slot will be 300 by 300. Now I should go in and let's say, for example, add another image. And we'll go ahead and move this image down and over. And we'll go ahead and set this image to fill. And now you see I have a 3 by 3 grid with 300 by 300 in each one. If I try to resize, you'll notice it won't work because it is set to a minimum desire of 300 by 300. Now let's say, for example, we have the button in the middle and it is set, well, image would be easier. We have an image here of 32 by 32. Let's say we set its image size to 500 by 500. You'll notice that it makes everything resize. The uniform grid panel is only the minimum desired width and height. It is not affecting the maximum. So if we set this back down to 50 by 50, you'll notice it resizes to 300 by 300 because we're using our minimum desired slot and width. We can also adjust the padding for each slot, as you can see, and it will adjust it down appropriately. So if we wanted 25 between each, you can just do 25. If we set this back, you can see exactly what's happening in each one. Those are all the options for a uniform grid panel. As you can see, it's a great way just to simply have something on the screen where everything is in a nice, neat, clean grid. And it all has the same size if you wish to use the minimum desired settings.